Hi there, my name is Sam. We are back here in The Sims 4. This time we're doing some decorating of the Curious Lab. If you missed it, I uploaded part one already where I showed uh, the speed build. And today we are going to be doing the actual decorating, which was really fun. I guess the best way I could describe the approach I took is kind of just explaining how I sort of envision the Curious Boys a uh, little story with how they've moved in here and um, in my mind this was like this is like a defunct laboratory that they somehow took ownership of <laughs> and they I feel like a lot of the existing fixtures any of the leftover things that was already in the lab that the actual like legit scientists were were using and I know the boys technically are legit scientists but I feel like maybe they're not quite as experienced or something as maybe the the actual scientists that would have been working here they're kind of like wannabes almost not fully I mean obviously the more you play them the more the higher in their careers they will get but sometimes I think of them kind of like as wannabes that are like really obsessed more like hobbyists but I mean they are also professional so either way um, but anyway I think that they they've moved in to this lab obsessively trying to further their little studies of the aliens and whatever things were already existing um i like all the the any sort of desks or any sort of like i said fixtures and um various signage and things like that probably were left behind who knows why they were abandoned maybe some mysterious thing happened that caused the lab to become abandoned that's something that i don't know if i've heard a lot about strange town as far as like to me it feels like the, the town used to be like more of a, a scientific and military run area that suddenly kind of became a residential zone <laughs> it's like how exactly did that happen was there some major event that caused everybody to evacuate and just leave everything behind and then over time people moved in I don't know but so anyway in decorating the curious house I uh, decided to have some items seem like the stuff that was already there and then some items be the stuff that the boys brought in to the to the space um, and like right now I'm decorating the uh, Vidkin's greenhouse his little greenhouse area which was really fun as you can see, I found the Strangerville plants, which I don't think that they're like... I think it's just a sculpture, it's not like an active, actual plant. But yeah, so I had uh, decided to set up a bunch of those in the actual planters. Now obviously you could probably choose to delete those plants or put them elsewhere, and then I have Vidkind actually growing plants, which I probably would do if I was playing. But I also found um, there was a stand i don't remember what pack it was from but it looks just like one of the stands that's in the sims 2. it's a um, in the sims 2 he has an item that's like a re career reward object i think or aspiration object it's like a little plant greenhouse thing i think it's high is it supposed to be hydroponics or something but anyway there's an there was an item that looked very similar to that so that's in there and stuff but so like that space obviously vidkin moved into and added his own things and maybe Maybe the, um, I feel like there's a good crossover between, like, doing the Strangerville mystery thing, um, and play, like, playing through that story with the, the curious gentlemen, the curious boys. I think that would be, uh, a fun little adventure, so I thought it'd be, and, and, and I, I feel like in that process, Vidkin would be the one that'd be, like, taking clippings from the, the plants and trying to grow them and crossbreed them himself. <laughs> but anyway, as we can see, we've moved on here to the little chess room, as they they always have in the pre original pre-made. They've got a little chess table. And, yeah, a lot of, uh, like I was saying, a lot of the stuff that I chose to kind of have be uh, more what the boys have brought into this space for their own decoration, I feel like is a lot less professional it's more like posters and like their little collectible items and books and just kind of I tried to make the house seem kind of lived in and I think it worked out pretty well The Sims 4 has a lot of 
interesting debug items and things that I was able to do. And I really just kind of like decorating in that sort of style where it's like part of it's the almost like when you people take like an industrial like factory building and then turn it into a residential space and they use parts of like the factory bones of the factory in in the interior decorating i really like that sort of vibe and that's kind of what was happening here a little bit um i think you'll probably see it a little bit later on but we move on to the um their little living room area here where we have uh their i, I thought these these desks were more of a uh, more of what was left behind by the previous scientists. And I ended up messing around with the ch what chairs I really wanted there. But I feel like... Because um, I think in the original, there there is three desks here and there. I think all the chairs are, are with those desks and everything. And but I decided to kind of turn it into like they left the desks there, but they've got it... Some of the chairs kind of turned around, which actually I think in the original pre-made that is part of it. Um, cause I think, I don't remember now. I'd have to look if they actually have a TV. I think they must have some kind of TV in the room. I know that my personal, whenever I redecorate the Curious Lab in The Sims 2, I always give them the TV. And more recently I gave them, there's a, a really cool custom object that was converted from another, like a console Sims game. That's like the, the, the TVs that are like stacked on each other and it's like perfect for them. So I tried to kind of emulate that sort of stacked TV moment in this by giving them multiple televisions. Cause also I feel like that's very much them to either, either be playing multiple video games at once or to be uh, maybe <laughs> like watching multiple international news circuit things at once, be studying who knows what, whatever they think, some kind of UFO sighting or, <laughs> or something, I don't know. I, of course, gave them a couple of um, couple of little game consoles and everything. And any of the furniture that I felt like they kind of brought in, I had it be a little bit more like mismatched with the rest, a little bit more eclectic looking. So like the table that the TVs are on and then like some of the random little chairs that are kind of a little bit more playful and kind of I don't know, probably something that Laszlo dragged in from, like, the the trash dump or something. I don't know. <laughs> Some thrift, thrift store or something. But, of course, there are plenty of computers and things around. And uh, there are... One thing I do really enjoy about the Sims 4 build by is the wall hangings. I do really like a lot of the posters. And I will be honest that a lot of times when I am building in the Sims 4... Uh, I found that I'm just kind of like thinking, hmm, I wonder if somebody converted this to The Sims 2 so I can just use it in, in that game instead of this one. <laughs> I do kind of get that feeling a little bit, and I have been refraining from too much Sims 4, uh, yeah, well, Sims 4 converted custom content in my Sims 2 game, just because when I make videos and stuff, a lot of folks ask, and it gets a little tedious having to track down every single thing, but I'm still a little bit tempted to, to download some more custom content for my Sims 2 game after building in um, this one. And yeah, I, I just put those little figurines up on the shelf there. I thought those worked really well. I, I feel like they are likely to be more of into like collecting things. I feel like maybe that would be more like um, Laszlo and Pascal than Vidkind. I think Vid if, I'm, if I recall correctly, Vidkind's the most neat. I feel like he would probably rather have everything really minimalist and not have junk everywhere. But then the other boys would probably have junk everywhere. <laughs> I feel like that's that's the 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 look for these guys. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. A lot of the also a lot of the Strangerville like items really worked well with um, I think a lot of them I got from Debug, but essentially all the items from, like, the lab and stuff ended up working out really well in this build. Um, but I do end up using all the packs and stuff packs and things that I do have, so I have quite a collection of different things. I, like I said before, I don't have, um, all the packs and everything. I don't, I don't really have any interest in having all the packs. <laughs> I'm really not that dedicated to The Sims 4 to have all the things. I did end up buying that. Um, oh, also this is, I, I've moved on to the kitchen here. I wanted to mention, I found this 
pizza box in the debug mode, which it's supposed to be like street trash or something. I think that's what they called it. I don't know what pack it's from, but I thought it was perfect because whenever you start a fresh strange town save and you go into the curious household, they always have pizza on that exact spot in the counter. So I thought we'd have a little pizza box. Obviously, as you're playing, you could remove uh, that and have them order actual pizza and put it there. Um, Another thing I wanted to mention is I do have, I did put in a little baby seat and I think I ended up putting more like toddler stuff in uh, in the house instead of like baby stuff because of course The Sims 4 really doesn't have baby stuff other than just like a couple of ugly bassinets. Uh, I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, and it just kind of was not that great and unfortunately they don't have a lot of even toddler furniture that like the sims 2 would have like normally in the actual game that spot where i put the baby chair or the toddler chair has uh i think a changing table and then in laszlo's room he has a i mean not laszlo pascal's room he has a crib i think that's kind of it because of course when you start a save pascal's pregnant with an alien um usually named tycho depending in my strange view, it didn't end up being a Tycho, but that's a whole other other story. But um, I ended up going with a lot of toddler stuff because it was just what was more available in the game. And I think if um, I were to make this family, which I also wanted to talk a little bit about because I would like to actually create the boys, I would probably make like a little Tycho as a toddler. And, and it would be... Not technically true, again, to the actual pre-made where Laszlo starts pregnant, but I think it would be more fun to have a little Tycho already all set to go. But, yeah. I don't remember what I was going to say before. I think I mentioned, I was going to say that I, uh, I ended up buying that werewolf pack, and so far I've been really liking the, the objects in the pack, like the build-to-buy objects, but I have not actually played, like, the werewolves yet, which is kind of silly, because I bought it, like, a few weeks ago. And I think I'm, I might have got it on a sale, I don't remember. But... It's, it looks neat. The things look neat so far. Sometimes I think The Sims 4 looks good, but doesn't actually hold my attention. Sometimes I get excited about the fresh new look, just kind of the, the more up-to-date look, but then when I actually dive in, I kind of lose the spark of, like, wanting to play. So that's kind of the only issue I've run into because I've still been trying to play a little bit on my own and I just haven't really wanted to. I don't know, something about I haven't had the inspiration for it. I guess that's really what it is for me with The Sims 4 is I have to be really inspired to actually play the game. But yeah, so we're here kind of decorating that this sort of almost kind of Banksy looking um, uh, wall art that I just put in the hallway there I really liked. I thought that looks like something probably Laszlo painted onto the wall, spray painted on or something like that. And then I really liked all of the uh, posters that are like informational lab posters. I like putting all those everywhere again looking like part of the lab. Um, but yeah, so now we're moved on to the bathroom. I actually had a lot of fun with the bathroom because once again it's kind of more of a uh, an, an existing facility. So I put some of these random things that I found and uh, tried to have it a mixture of like lived in stuff from them and leftover stuff. So I ended up messing around with it quite a bit, but it ends up really nice and uh, full and again lived in. Like I said, I already said that word probably way too much, but that's definitely something that I enjoy trying to create the feeling of. I think that's really the best way. Um, I've actually recently been doing a little makeover of The Sims 3. Lucky Palms. I shared a little bit about it on my uh, on my Tumblr and I think on my Twitter. And um, it's been really fun trying to just kind of go in and of course Lucky Palms is a store town so it's only got the actual store items plus the base game so it can be a little bit bland and kind of basic. I've been going in and just redoing makeovers of houses and stuff just for a personal project because it's my favorite town. And uh, in The Sims 3, and um, it's been almost kind of difficult to make that same lived-in feeling, and I feel like that's something that the clutter objects in The Sims 4 do well, is that sort of 
having it be that sort of like somebody's actually here and it's a very like active space, a very comfortable space, I don't know. But lots of lots of objects and things that I've been able to stuff around. Um, so I enjoyed that. Of course, it's easy in this house too because it is kind of a, technically a smaller house. The, the All the rooms are very compact. So except for, I mean, obviously, except for like the main area with the living and kitchen, that's a little bit bigger. But for the most part, everything's really uh, compact and easy to sort of stuff full, which I like a lot better than having large rooms that just everything's spaced out and kind of... But yeah, so we, we've moved on here to Laszlo's, I mean not Laszlo, I keep saying Laszlo instead of the other guys. This is Vidkin's room here. This is how I, I usually have it be Vidkin's room here and then Pascal's in the corner and then Laszlo's off on the other kind of front corner. Um, and I found this really fun little table. It looks like some kind of alien plant being tested on. And it doesn't seem to be, it seems to be only decorative, so, um, but yeah, I, I tried to find a matching desk and shoved it in there next to the actual active, um, what do I want to say, functioning desk of Vidkins. And all the boys, I gave them the same bed and the same lockers in their rooms, but uh, obviously decorated their rooms to their personalities and stuff. And um, so Vidkind, of course, is more of a plant guy, kind of more of a biologist sort of character. Usually when I first start playing the Curious Boys in um, actual Sims 2, I will give them different jobs. I think they all have the same like base game scientist job, but if you have all the expansions and stuff, you can there's multiple like sciencey jobs that you can give them. I usually give Pascal the regular science job, and then I give Vidkind, there's like one that's more has to do with, with plants. I can't remember, I think it's natural scientist, I think is what it's called. So I give him that one and it really suits him well. And then I usually give Laszlo the paranormal career, which is really fun. Um, and I do kind of, that's sort of when I'm decorating this version, it, that's, I'm kind of decorating it to how I think of them and how I would be playing them. I found these um, little bonsai trees, and I think it seems very much like Vidkin to be keeping those kinds of trees. And I found these little stands, just kind of very straight, simple, to the point stands that are, again, very Vidkin in my mind. I know Vidkin is a very popular character in the uh, Sims world, and I'm sure there's a lot of folks that maybe have different varying viewpoints of him a little bit. But to me, he's very much like that very particular, very neat um, sim that's very interested in plant science, and, and which I think is kind of a fun thing for him. Of course, in his actual bio, he does, it mentions, I think, I think it's orchids is what it talks about. He likes taking care of his orchids, I think is what it is. But orchids are a plant that's very difficult to keep happy from, from my experience. They're uh, a very finicky and um, difficult plant to, to take care of. So that seems like the type of plant uh, somebody like Vidkind, who's a professional, would be taking care of. Random, random plant facts from someone that used to work at a garden store <laughs> and likes gardening myself. Maybe that's why I like Vidkind so much, because I also like plants. I don't know. Anyway, we've moved on here to... Uh, Pascal and Tycho's room. So I've used a bunch of, um, again, the same bed and the same lockers. And then I was trying to try out some different rugs and things. I really liked that rug. I think that's from the Get Famous pack. Um, it's supposed to be like a set piece thing. But I, I thought it looked like little Pokemon card rugs. And I thought that seemed appropriate for Pascal would be probably getting his child very much into whatever the Sims version of Pokemon is. But anyway, I ended up um, putting this little station in his room and pretty much it ends up kind of being that in each of the boys rooms I found some weird little 
like item that felt like they could have it in there and i think i don't remember what the heck this is even is i think it's like a fabric not a fabrication station that's like a different thing i don't remember what this is but it's a little actual like active like a um functional item that he's able to use so that's kind of fun he'd be able to do things <laughs> i don't know is whatever the heck it does he can do it um but yeah i really like how the the baby room turned out i like the little baby side i end up kind of decorating more in the um by way of like shelves and putting stuff on them and everything and i put that little poster of some kind of scientific elements it almost looks like it's supposed to be some sort of element po like um cheat sheet i don't know some something science thing and i feel like that would be something that pascal would teach his little alien baby if he'd be very particular you have to know the the like um chart of elements before you can know how to walk <laughs> that seems appropriate for these guys but yeah i put lots of fun toys and stuff i do like a lot of the toys that are in the sims 4 there's a lot of cute stuff but i was having fun putting those everywhere and i chose the little um toy box that looks like a little alien dude i think that is appropriate as well or maybe not an alien maybe he's like a little monster But, yeah, I really liked how his little room turned out, and um, I am excited to go ahead and uh, try to make them. I was thinking about how I want to go about it as far as I know folks probably would like to see the process in some way. And I've actually been trying to gather ideas. We've moved on to Laszlo's room here. By the way, I, like, I, I feel like I'd like to mention before I get going on another rant, that Laszlo's room, my idea for him was that he's um, more of the paranoid, like, looking up government things and kind of side of stuff. Like, that's his thing. So he's got this um, this Strangerville uh, station there where he look he's, like, listening in on, like, military broadcasts and things. That feels like he's more of the paranoid sim, I feel like. But anyway, but he's also kind of... Uh, eclectic and chaotic in a mess. I feel like that's kind of his thing. And I also end up putting some planters in his room, which is what I'm doing now, actually. And um, I ended up... Unfortunately, in The Sims 4, you can't put actual, like, plants, already planted plants. Like, in The Sims 3, you can do that. And I don't know if you might be able to do that in The Sims 2. But from debug mode, you can in The Sims 3. But in this, you can only put down, like, the actual plant that you could then have the Sim plant later. So I, that's what I did was I just put down a couple of mushrooms, put down a couple of shrooms for the boy. I think he, I think the boy would like some shrooms. But anyway, on the subject of making, actually making these sims, I've been trying to gather ideas for things I could use for live streams or when I want to kind of get into that. And I was thinking that the first live streams I do would probably be shorter, sort of practicing stuff like doing a you know an hour to 90 minutes or something and i thought something like making um sims in creative sim could be like a fun little chill practice moment but i don't know i'm not i haven't decided yet if i would want to do that or if i would actually just want to make a little speed video of making them either way I, think I will definitely eventually make um the boys for this house but we have moved on here to the roof. I almost said the ceiling. That's not the right word. It's a roof. And I uh, had a lot of fun kind of filling up this space. In the original version, this space isn't super filled. There's some lounge chairs and obviously some telescopes, which are the most iconic part. But this I had some fun with some of the... Um, I found that little kiddie pool and I thought that seemed really appropriate that they'd have like a little kiddie pool up there with some chairs. And a cooler, again, sort of mixed matched, always some different chair or something. And I found this, the the rocket station, where you build a rocket. And I'm like, somebody's got to build a rocket here. It's, I, I think maybe Pascal would build the rocket, or Vidkind, I guess, could. But I made a little space for it out in the yard. It was kind of the best place to put it. I don't know if maybe it could have also gone on the roof somewhere. Um, the, the blue tape that I have on the roof is a... Um, what is it? It's like a, 
I don't know how to say it. It's like a um, street art type thing. And again, for, in my mind, I imagined Laszlo being up there painting this, like, some kind of uh, art message to the aliens. I feel like that's something that he would do. <laughs> so that's what that is. And so I wanted to have that space for that. So, And it kind of took up a nice amount of space that it felt filled in. And of course, I found that little hookah bubbler thing. We had to have that somewhere. Um, and I ended up putting these little planters in and everything. There's a lot going on. I tried to have this video be snappy and fast, but I also don't want it to be too overwhelming. So I definitely am open to critique if you feel like it's too fast. I feel like I just said lots of words. Uh, anyway, we are now to the end of the video. <laughs> this is the this is the curious lab. We have some uh, little shots in here, looking at the interior. Some of my favorite spaces. I like this. The living room, chess table, and kitchen zone is my favorite zone. But I also really like Vidkin's uh, little gardening space. I did end up adding some more things to the space and then rearranged it a little as I was decorating other things. So yeah, so there might be some differences a little bit here and there. That I didn't include because they were just kind of frivolous little messing around with things. But yeah, I am going to have this for download on the gallery. And by the time I upload this video, I'm going to figure out how exactly to share that with y'all. I'll figure it out the best way. I guess probably giving my gallery, like, info or whatever. <laughs> but that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.